All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. It is just harmless Dave, the real music observer, observing real music in real time for real people just like you right there, right there, and me right here. Um, a lot of people are pretty psyched about Greg Raleigh's return to uh, this band Journey Through Time, essentially like a new version of Journey with uh, Greg Raleigh uh, back in as a singer and a main player because um, they're going back in time and they're going back to the first three albums in addition to everything else the band has ever recorded and you never know what you're going to hear on any given night. Um, just fantastic to see Greg back. But Greg Raleigh's departure from Journey, that's the topic of this particular video. Of course, Departure, ironically, would be the last album that Greg Raleigh was on. And then he departed. Was the album based on Greg's decision to leave the band? Um, probably not. Probably just a coincidence, but you might want to ask Greg that. Maybe there was some hidden meeting in there. Um, Greg tells the story as if, you know, hey, I was just tired of the road and tired of touring and wanted a break and so forth. I think that was a narrative that he created. And I think later on, years later, uh, it sounded as if that, you know, Greg was being kind of pushed to the side a little bit. I mean, you had this guy by the name of Steve Perry in the band, and with Perry there, and with hits coming, a lot of those hits based on Perry's writing and vocal skills, uh, it kind of looked as though Greg Raleigh didn't have that much to do anymore. And maybe that was true, and maybe it wasn't. The point is, I think Greg felt that way. He felt a little bit neglected and maybe pushed to the side, saw the writing on the wall and decided to say, hey, I will bow out gracefully. I will get out of here and I'll pursue a solo career, which he eventually did and uh, put out a couple of really strong albums. His Gringo album actually is my favorite album by a solo journey person. You know, I mean, you can look at Street Talk and some of the other great albums, uh, Neil Sean with Jan Hammer, um, but I really love Gringo. I think Gringo uh, is just a perfect album from start to finish, and it kind of echoes the music that I like the most. And what I like about Greg Raleigh is he had this contrasting voice with Perry, and when the two would sing, feeling that way anytime, just the same way, those two instances, it was gold. Those two voices, the way they contrasted uh, it reminds me too of what chicago had with bill champlin and peter satira uh, different styles to some degree but the contrast is what made it interesting and to this day because journey through time just released the video of feeling that way in any time with dean castronovo playing the part of steve perry uh, you just reminisce and you go back to a better quality of music, a better time in rock. And Greg Raleigh, who later actually reprised his role of a contrasting vocal in the band The Storm with Kevin Chalfant uh, in a great song called I've Got a Lot to Learn About Love. Look that one up if you haven't heard it. Uh, it's sort of an early 90s version of feeling that way in any time except it's just a one-part song all the way through it's a great track and uh, has vanished from most radio playlists and should be on a radio station near you um, i think greg raleigh's return makes people happy i think it's almost as if a chapter couldn't have been written um, because he left and a lot of us just want to see the book finished uh, Journey was on their way up when Raleigh was a part of it. Departure was a big album, you know, and this each successive album that came after, including the live album Captured, featured Greg Raleigh. And Raleigh's input, if you ask Herbie Herbert, his task of trying to replace uh, Greg Raleigh was going to be difficult. 
but Greg actually suggested uh, who should replace him. Uh, humble, decent, quality musician, rock and roll Hall of Famer, two times over, and um, everyone is psyched to see Greg Raleigh back doing what he does best. That's playing the Hammond B3 and singing those old classic Journey songs from long ago. All right, done with this video. Greg, we love you, brother. We're glad you're back. We'll see you on the road.